So this lambda function is widely used with map, filter and reduce functions. So let's try and run it. Let's see it with the map function. So here I have just taken the list of numbers and then here I am applying this map function. So in map you give the uh, arguments as first will be the function on which you want to apply this and then the iterable. So this is how a map function looks like and when we run this it simply squares all the values whatever are there in num. So this was the simple lambda with map function. Now let's see an example where we use this lambda with filter function. For that I will simply just write this code. Here what I am doing is I have this list of numbers and I am just printing the even numbers from it. So I have defined a function using this keyword lambda, the variable or argument or say parameter x and a single expression here. Now when I run this we will get the output as the only the even numbers from the list. One more important thing is when to use this lambda function. So it's great for one line or throwaway functions and it's also functional programming with map filter and reduce methods and when there are just small data formations that time you can use this lambda i'll suggest you avoid this for any complex logic or any multiple step operations so whenever there are some multiple multi-step operations simply use this def keyword simply define your function in this way instead of just using a single expression now let's see one more example where we are using this lambda inside the another function so what i am doing is i am just making a simple multiplier that is nothing but i will make function say as make multiplier and pass the variable n and what i want to return is some operation which needs to be performed so here i am defining it in the lamb with the lambda keyword so this is the functionality which i want to perform inside the make multiplier function so what happens here is when I run this code, it will just double the input. Whatever input I am passing, it just has to double it. Okay, so this is what we are doing. Here I am passing 2, that's why it is just doubling it. So if I pass 3 here, it will just triple it. So let's run it for 2 first. You got whatever x value was there. What did you pass it? 5, right? So when you pass this double has this make multiplier function when you pass 5 to it this 5 will go here to the make multiplier function and then it will just do 5 into 2 that is 10. So if I say make multiplier 3 then we'll get result as 15 that is nothing but 5 multiplied by 3. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching.